Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, in today's video, okay, I want to talk about Bitcoin and of course, Ethereum, right? Now, listen, guys, if you guys have in fact invested into Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay, I hope you guys didn't sell any. Like, I'm being dead serious, guys. I hope, okay, it's okay to, you know, take profits to have an exit strategy. I understand that. But here's the thing, guys, Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay, both of these cryptocurrencies, I just want you guys to know real quick, I have not sold any of my Bitcoins or Ethereum. Like, I haven't sold even anything, like, at all, you know what I mean? Pretty much, guys, I've just been buying, right? I've been buying and hodling, right? Now, guys, hodling, okay, if you guys don't know what that means, it just pretty much means holding on for dear life, so you're holding that investment for long term, Right? And I told you guys as many times that Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? I am always, you know, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm always thinking long term with my investments, okay, on Bitcoin and Ethereum. You know what I mean? With my investments so far with Bitcoin and Ethereum, I'm always thinking, you know, long term, right? Always. You know what I mean? And that's why, guys, you know, I haven't sold any, like legit any of my Bitcoins or Ethereum. You know what I mean? With the investments that I have made right in Bitcoin and Ethereum. I have have I have not sold a dime, guys. I haven't sold even a dollar worth of Bitcoin or Ethereum. You know, I've just been pretty much buying, I've been investing, I've been accumulating, and I've been holding on. That's it, guys, right? Because I ain't doing this for long term. And we know that you know Bitcoin and Ethereum and pretty much the whole cryptocurrency market has been dropping. We are obviously right now in a bear market, okay. So obviously, most of us right now that are in fact invested into the cryptocurrency market, we are down from our investments. Okay, now, let's not lie here. I am down from my investments and I'm pretty sure there's a 90% chance that you watching this video right now, okay, you are in fact down from your investments as well. Okay, so there's like, if you really think about it, there's no point selling. Okay, and this is the thing, guys, right? Technically, Okay, I didn't lose any money. Yes, I am down from my investments. Yes, my portfolio right now is not looking too good. All of all of our portfolios right now, okay, it's not looking too good, right? But the thing is here, guys, is I didn't press that sell button. You know, I didn't sell at a loss. Now, hear me out. If I am down from my investments and I press that sell button, right, I panic sell, then yes, I lost money, right? But let's just say I am down from my investments, okay? Let's just say I am down from my investments, right? And I didn't click that sell button. I didn't panic sell. I'm still holding on with my investments, right? Technically, I didn't lose any money, guys, because I didn't panic sell. I didn't press that sell button. You guys get what I'm trying to say here? It's really like, it's just common sense. You know what I mean? So I feel like a lot of people, you know what I mean, need to hold on to their investments, you know, hold on to their Bitcoins and hold on to their thumbs. Yes, right? For the past few months especially this year in 2022 okay bitcoin and the whole cryptocurrency market has not been performing too well we all know that okay but this is why i always tell you guys to think long term don't think short term you know there's different cycles to this guys right in the markets okay there's a bear market and of course a bull market right now we are obviously in a bear market last year in 2021 we were obviously in a bull market, right? Bitcoin reached a new all-time high, almost seventy thousand dollars, right? Ethereum reached obviously a new all-time high as well, of like almost five thousand dollars. Was that like four point eight thousand dollars? Almost five thousand dollars. And majority of altcoins in the cryptocurrency market last year performed really, really, really well. Like Solana, okay, um, Axie Infinity, right? A gaming cryptocurrency performed really well as well. And of course, Dogecoin, right? Early of 2021, Dogecoin, we saw Dogecoin absolutely pumping up like crazy, okay? So, yeah, last year, guys, okay, in 2021, was a great year for crypto. You know, leg legit, guys, Bitcoin was legit the best performing asset as of 2021 last year. It was legit the best performing asset. Better than gold, better than silver. You know, I, I don't even know why I mentioned gold. Gold has not been moving, you know what I mean? It hasn't even moved for the past decade, right? But anyways... Um, you know, yeah, Bitcoin was legit the best performing asset, guys, as of 2021. I bet you guys didn't know that, right? It literally was, okay? But this year is a different story, obviously. Bitcoin has dropped over 70% from its previous all-time highs to where we are now. Ethereum dropped over 80%, so it's even worse, okay? So everything has been dropping, guys, right? Everything has been dropping, right? So do not panic, guys. 
if you on track investing right now into Bitcoin and Ethereum, hodl, 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 hold on for dear life, guys. Okay, always think long term with your investments, guys. If you are down from your investments, don't panic, don't panic, sell, just relax and hodl. If you can't, this I always tell you guys this if you can't look at your portfolio, okay, if you guys can't handle it, don't put your phone away, okay, your phone. Put it away, okay? Just put it away, put it somewhere, okay? And then maybe do something, you know what I mean? Like your hobby, I don't know what it is. Maybe go for a park, um, walk at the park, you know what I mean? Go to the beach, you know, hang out with friends, right? Or your family, you know what I mean? Do something, guys, to get your mind off, you know, the charts and your portfolio, you know what I mean? Do something that you enjoy doing, right? Sometimes I do that as well. But I'm used to it now, you know what I mean? I'm used to seeing my portfolio, you know, at this level, right? I've you know, technically, yes, I am down for my investments and I'm used to it now. You know what I mean? So I don't care what my portfolio is at because I know long term, everything will bounce back up. Bitcoin will bounce back up to a, its previous all time highs and will reach a new all time high in the next bull market. 100% that's going to happen. And of course, you know, Ethereum, everything's going to bounce back up no matter what. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, eventually, it will bounce back up. Majority of them, not all of them, majority of cryptocurrencies, right? Altcoins in the crypto market will in fact bounce back up, guys. And that's why, guys, I'm not panicking, okay? So, guys, relax, please, okay? If you are in fact investing into the cryptocurrency market, especially, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum, okay? Please just hodl. Hodl your Bitcoin and Ethereum, especially Bitcoin and Ethereum, please, please, right? I've told you guys as many times, if you own just one Bitcoin, one Bitcoin, like per Bitcoin, okay, it's going to be, you know, trading at about, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars, okay, like hundreds and thousands of dollars, and of course, millions of dollars in the future, not anytime soon, but in the future, guys, you know, another, you know, decade from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, we're going to see Bitcoin over a million dollars easily, okay, and for Ethereum, you know, we're going to see Ethereum, you know, easily reach tens and thousands of dollars, you know, $10,000, twenty, fifty dollars $50,000, $70,000, $100,000. Okay, we're going to see that for Ethereum, guys. And this is why, guys, I'm mainly focusing, right, my money. I'm mainly focusing on investing into Bitcoin and Ethereum for long term. Okay, this is why, guys, because I really do believe this is where I'm going to be making my most money with Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? So that's why, guys, I have been you know, investing heavy on both of these cryptocurrencies, you know what I mean? I really have, right? I've been, especially Ethereum, you know what I mean? I've been investing into Ethereum heavy for the past, like almost a year now, pretty much over a year. So yeah, guys, if you guys are in fact investing into Bitcoin and Ethereum especially, okay, please think long-term with your investments on both of these cryptocurrencies, please. I am begging you guys, okay? Do not sell, do not panic sell. If you see Bitcoin dropping, if you see Ethereum dropping, don't press that sell button just hold. If you see it dropping, buy more. That's an opportunity right there. Buy more. We all know that, guys, right? Like, if everything is pumping, right? Bitcoin is pumping. Everything is pumping. The whole crypto market is pumping. That is not the time to buy, guys. That is the time to pretty much, no, no, if you want to, right, take some profits. Have a exit strategy. Take your profits, right? And when everything is dropping, when it's crashing, when it's in the reds, okay, when it's absolutely dumping, that is obviously the time, okay, to buy. It's not the time, okay, to sell, right? It's the time to buy, guys. When everything's crashing, that's the time to buy, okay? We all know that. But for some reason, a lot of us, okay, like to FOMO in pretty much. You know, when everything's in the greens, when everything's pumping, that's when we like to buy in for some reason, right? I used to do that. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I used to do that, right? When I first started off investing into cryptocurrency, I used to do that, right? It's just for some reason... In our brain, it just triggers us, you know what I mean? Like, it's how our human brains operate, right? When we see everything pumping, we like to buy in, okay? We like to FOMO in, right? Fear of missing out, right? But I realized we've got to do the complete opposite, right? When everyone else, okay, is fearful, we got to be greedy, right? And when everyone else is greedy, we got to become fearful, you know what I mean? So it's the complete opposite, right? So that being said, guys, um... You know, you guys let me know your personal thoughts down below. Are you guys investing into Bitcoin and Ethereum at all for long term? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know. Personally, I'm obviously investing into Bitcoin and Ethereum for long term. I'm always pretty much just buying and holding, hodling, right? 
into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I haven't sold a dime, guys, of my Bitcoin or any of my Ethereum. I haven't sold any, not even a dime, not even a cent, not even a dollar. Literally, guys, I'm being dead serious. The only cryptocurrencies that I have sold and took profits were literally meme coins, right? Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. But on that, right, my other altcoins, I pretty much never took any profits. I've just been buying and holding, guys, like literally, you know what I mean? Because I know for a fact in the next bull market, everything's going to bounce back up. It's going to reach a new auto high. Everything that I think I have invested in will do that, right? Majority of them. So that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Go down below right now. Give this video a huge thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Let's see how many likes we can get in this video. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. I really would appreciate that as well. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers. I really would appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.